Welcome back to Dezavi Productions. My name is Dezavi. Today, I'll be showing you how to connect a keyboard sampler to a computer so you can use it as a MIDI controller. Now for this to work, your keyboard sampler must have the 5 pin connection of MIDI in and MIDI out. If it doesn't, this tutorial will not work for you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button so you don't miss a session. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so there's two ways to make this connection. The first is by using a USB to MIDI adapter, and this is going to be the easiest and least expensive method. So right here we have one of those adapters. Now on one end we have the MIDI in and MIDI out connections that go to your sampler or synthesizer depending on what you're using. In the center we have the interface that makes the conversion. And on the other end here we have the USB connection that connects to the computer. Now there are some models that have the USB-C connection if that's something that you're looking for. And you can find these adapters on Amazon, Guitar Center, Sweetwater, and they can range anywhere from $10 all the way to $50, depending on the brand that you're buying. When you're making your purchase, remember that anytime you're buying equipment, you're making an investment. So make sure you're investing in something that's going to be of good quality, it's going to last you a long time, and it's compatible with everything that you have. So with that being said, let's go ahead and use the adapter to connect the sampler with the computer. For this demonstration, we'll be using the legendary ASR-10. If you're not familiar with this sampler, this was used by many of your favorite producers including Kanye West, Timbaland, and many others. Now here on the back of the unit, we have the MIDI through, MIDI in, and MIDI out connections, and on the cables of the adapter, they actually come labeled. One is going to say to MIDI in, the other is going to say to MIDI out. So we're going to connect these accordingly. We're going to connect the MIDI out to the MIDI out. And the MIDI in connection, we're going to be connecting it to the MIDI in. Next, we're going to connect the USB connection to the USB port. And as we do, notice how the interface lights up to indicate that we have a good USB connection. So there we have a good connection. And let's go ahead and check it out in the software. So, now that we have it connected, I'm going to show you first what it looks like inside of Ableton, and then I'll be showing you what it looks like inside of Pro Tools. So, inside of Ableton here, we're going to go to Live, we're going to go to Preferences, and in the Link Tempo MIDI tab, we're going to go down to the bottom where it says MIDI Ports. And in the end here, you're going to see USB Uno MIDI Interface, and at the bottom it says Out USB Uno MIDI Interface. So, we're going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to record enable my track here. And let's go ahead and play something. And we can also use the wheels on the side here. Alright, let's move on to Pro Tools. Now here inside Pro Tools, we're going to go to Setup go to MIDI, and go down to MIDI Input Devices. And we can see here that it's checked in as USB Uno MIDI Interface. So I'm going to click OK. I'm going to record enable the track here. And let's go ahead and play something. And if we wanted to use the wheels here on the side here, we can. Alright, so let's move on to method number two. Now for the second method, you'll need an audio interface that has a MIDI in and MIDI out connections. There's a wide variety to choose from, and these can range anywhere from $150 all the way up to the thousands, so there's multiple options to fit your budget. For this, you'll also be needing two individual MIDI cables. Now if you're using the keyboard just to play virtual instruments, you'll only need one cable. That cable is going to run from the MIDI out of the sampler into the MIDI in of the interface. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Focusrite Claret A Pre USB. Here on the back of the interface, we have the MIDI out and MIDI in connections. We're going to start by first connecting one end of the cable to the MIDI out, and the other end of this cable is going to go into the MIDI in of the sampler. Now, with the second cable, we're going to connect one end to the MIDI out of the sampler. And the other end is going to go into the MIDI in of the interface. 
Now that we have it connected, notice that when I hit the keys on the keyboard, the light on the interface that says MIDI lights up to indicate that we have a good connection. There we have a good connection, so let's go ahead and open it up in the software. We'll start with Ableton first. Alright, here inside Ableton, we're going to go to Live, we're going to go to Preferences, and again, in the Link Tempo MIDI tab, we're going to go down to the bottom where it says MIDI Ports, and you're only going to see here in and out Claret APRI USB. And this is currently active, so we're going to go ahead and close this. We're going to record and enable the track. We have it already. So let's go ahead and hit the keys. And we can use the wheels as well. All right, let's move on to Pro Tools. All right, so here inside Pro Tools, we're gonna go to the top menu where it says Setup, go to MIDI, and go to, oh, go to MIDI Input Devices. I'm gonna click here. You can see the interface here, Claret APRI USB is checked in, and we're gonna click OK. We're going to record and enable the track here. This is an instrument track with a massive plugin in here by Native Instruments. And let's go ahead and hit some keys. And again, we can use the wheels on the side here. So as you can see, it's a very quick and easy setup. If you guys have any issues or any trouble, please let me know in the comments and we'll figure it out together. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you at the next session.